Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Dandino, and I'll be walking you through the DRG What's New in 11.1.2.4. Okay, so let's talk about the new enhancements for DRG 11.1.2.4. Uh, we're going to cover conditional workflow stages, separation of duties, request items from a file, request attachments, request details for a transaction, improved handling of request exceptions, and finally, we'll wrap it up with workflow request page improvements. So conditional workflow stages, here are the improvements. We can now basically do a little bit more with the workflow path. We can include or exclude certain paths depending on the property values and validations, right? So basically giving us more flexibility during the request we can say, hey, everything that starts with an A, go this way. Everything that starts with a B, hey, why don't you go this way? Separation duties. Again, this is an enhancement to the separation duties that are already there. Now you can have a user basically kind of right in the middle of the workflow that has neither submitted or approved in any of the other stages within this request. Great enhancement. Thanks, Oracle. We can now finally add that random person into our workflow. Request items from a file, otherwise known as the bulk upload. We can now take items from a file and upload them into DRM. So basically like importing a hierarchy into DRM. We have to pay attention to our design of DRG here. It can get really complicated and you can end up with like 50 files out there just to kind of handle one user. So again, pay attention to your design. It's just like any other system. If your design is wacky, your implementation is going to be wacky too. You know how sometimes you have to have that whole stack of paperwork that goes along with the request? Well, now it's not really a stack. It's kind of a digital file, right? Now we can add that digital file into our workflow. So if your account requires a whole PDF of why you want to request an account, you can now add it into DRG. Another great enhancement is the request details for transactions. So now your final approver can go request all the details that they want. This is great for them to kind of store it away and they don't want to go back and forth into DRG and they just want to store all that odd information on their computer or if they still have a floppy drive, maybe they're putting it to a floppy. I don't know. The request and, and the audit information will always be there in DRM. They can request it at any time, but now they can do it themselves. But let's talk about handling of requests and exceptions and the improvements that Oracle has done to these users. Now, I will say some of these, and I'll let you know which ones, you might want to think a little bit before giving the access to the individual. So let's talk about our submitted users first. Our submitted users can now go out and revoke any requests that they have put in while it's in flight. So if they have second thoughts about maybe what they did or how they're asking for something, or maybe they just totally had to change their heart altogether and decided, you know what, I need to pull out this request. They can now do that instead of having to go and get a data manager. So their submitters can now just totally revoke the in-flight request. Our commit users can now go out and have access to the escalated requests. So since the commit user is the final be-all, say-all, why wouldn't you just give them access to escalation as well? Well, that's what Oracle thought as well, and that's what they've done. The next one is our escalation users. So why not? If we change one thing, why not change them all? Our escalation users can advance requests at any stage. So if the user has access to this and there's something that just needs to be kind of pushed along, they can now do that themselves. Again, instead of going to the data manager and saying, hey, this request is escalated, but it's past the point where I can touch it, now I can do this too. So we might want to think a little bit about who we give this access to. 
Now, our data managers can go out and unclaim any in-flight requests and delete any request that has not been committed. You say, whoa, wait a minute, they can go out and delete any request? They can go out and delete any request that hasn't been committed to DRM. Let's talk about the request page improvements. Since it's inside DRM and DRM has a cool tab layout, they decided to do the same thing with DRG. It has a nice tab layout where you can kind of navigate around a little bit easier than it was before. Also within the interface, you can show and hide things that also make things a little bit easier to see and view. You can see a little bit more detail or hide the detail if you really don't care about it. There's some task property instructions you can add on now. So if someone hovers over it, they can kind of see what the task is about, if there's any restrictions on it. Basically, it's a freeform text field that you can put whatever you want into it. Custom property labels. So for this one, yes, finally, we can now give custom property labels by task. We as developers like to organize things in the back end that the user wouldn't normally see. We would start things with like ACCT underscore blah, blah, blah. That is not something we want the users to see. We are now able to put a user-friendly label on so the user actually sees account blah, blah, blah. Another nice handy thing that they have done to DRG is they've added a filter on the hierarchies by task. So if a user is working through the workflow and they get to a certain task and that task is only meant for accounts and that user has access to accounts, entity, and product, you can actually filter it down so they don't have to sift through everything. Even though they have access to it, it just makes it a little bit cleaner for them. Splitter view. So the splitter view, you can basically, it's kind of like the hide and show, show and hide. It's just going to let you look at more items and, and details. Instead of having to switch from one screen to another, they're kind of putting things side by side. So you click on something and it displays the details on the other side. Very nice addition. Again, makes it user-friendly for the users.